Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna wait here a little bit and let some people join in on the live stream. Very quick live stream today. I just really wanted to get outside and uh, go take a trip down my river. Check out this train back here, that's pretty cool. Today, uh, today I'm a little bit farther up river and I got my trash bag with me. And I'm gonna be kinda just, today I, just, I really just needed to get outside today. I've been stuck inside all day and uh, had a little bit of time and so I said, hey, let me get outside and go walk up, up, up. I haven't been up river. Usually I swim way farther down river. But uh, today I'm gonna be just walking around and scouting out a location pretty far up river. There's a trail that goes all the way up and I figured I'd get my trash bag and uh, do some cleaning today. So this is kind of a cool trail. There used to be like an abandoned structure out here. Hey Rhonda, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in everybody. So yeah, I'm gonna walk down this path and uh, there used to be an abandoned like house out here. I don't know if it's been destroyed at this point, but we're gonna walk around and if I see any trash, I'm gonna try to clean that up with my trash bag. Always try to uh, take care of the river. Hey Ashley, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. They've really, like, I'll walk down here and I'll show you guys. They've really, uh, they made this cool trail. I mean, an actual path that you can walk all the way up the river. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, what's up, Cal? Sean S. Hello. Hey, Miranda. You're lucky. Well, I'm on, I'm on kind of my break right now. Because I am... I am, uh, <laughs> I am working full time still, but every time I, you know, get a little break, get outside for an hour, I'll try to always go to the river. What's up, exploring with Nug? <laughs> get to, get picking up. Oh, check this out. I didn't know it was still here. Less talky talky, more picky. <laughs> All right. Check this out. This is an old, like, I don't know if it's an old house or what, but I thought it was torn down. Hey Ducky, new here, thanks for tuning in and subscribing. If you guys could leave a like on this video, that'd be awesome. So check out this, I don't know if this is an old house, what do you guys think? I remember coming here like years ago, a long time ago. But you know, it's actually, it looks pretty clean. But I guess it got burnt down. Yeah, this place is uh, pretty, pretty uh, crazy. Right by the river, there's actually several old like structures. I'll check that view out. I guess it was an old house. I see a fireplace in there. Dang. We're gonna walk around there and explore. Cabin hunting shack. I don't, I mean, I think it's an old house. I, I'm really not sure, but I remember exploring this when I was real young, like 15 years ago or something, but I can't believe it's still here. It's pretty cool. Good day, everybody. Thanks for joining. All right. I'm gonna get this off my face. <laughs> Check it out. Oh man. I wonder if there's any tre treasures in here. Hopefully there's uh, a few things, at least some trash I can clean up. Let's walk around first and then I'll walk in. I'm eating, <laughs> you're eating flaming hot Doritos and sour cream while watching? Nice. Sounds like a party, sounds like a good time. Oh, I see some bottles. And my first piece of trash today I'm still not great at, uh, actually there's several pieces of trash out here. Caution tape. I wonder why they had that out here. Here's some plastic. Uh oh, that looks like an old knife. Hey, there's no telling what's out here. You bought a bottle cutter? Gonna repurpose bottles, nice. That's an awesome idea, repurposing the bottles. Yeah, here, check, speaking of bottles, Here's some, here's some bottles out here. Yeah, I've been trying to find out ways to repurpose the trash. So, the bottle cutting's an awesome idea. I saw, I see a lot of them like, ooh. I don't know what was in that. What kind of bottle do you think that was, guys? I'm gonna try my best to clean up a lot of this trash 
just because I had some time to get outside. It's a beautiful day out here too. Well, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here after seeing this. But it's not private property. I mean, it's public up the river. I guess it might, maybe it used to be private. I think I bought in all this land, but I'll throw that away. I guess. Cops called picking up. <laughs> picking up later, yeah. <laughs> no joke. It's like I'm trying to do good for the environment and I got arrested. <laughs> All right, let's walk around. This is crazy. Check out this. This is like an old back room. You're sketchy looking. <laughs> What's up, Zach? They won't believe you. They think you're doing hoodlum stuff. Well, you might be right, but hopefully if I don't get caught, don't get caught doing good. <laughs> There's some trash in there. I don't know if it's, the floor is all gone out and it's, I don't know if you guys can see all the water in there. Look, that's an old fireplace. That's pretty cool. I've actually been meaning to explore this place for a while. Oh, check it out. Oh, dang. Whoa. Dang, I've never been behind this building. There's like an old umbrella. Dang. Kind of freaked me out. I didn't even look at... It's like a bunch of clothes and pallets over here. Let's walk over there. You think this pallet is safe to step on? <laughs> We're about to find out. Oh, dang, wait. Before I step on it. Oh, this is gonna be hard to, hard to film. It's like a big old glass bottle. Yeah, that looks like a moonshine bottle. Dang, look at that thing. Oh, you guys aren't gonna believe what I just found underneath this. Well, it's nothing too crazy, but... Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Check it out. That is cool. Here's the title you won't believe. <laughs> moonshine Shack. I guess this might have been an old Moonshine Shack. I don't know. That's cool. That's not what I noticed. Check this out. You guys, you guys see that? Oh yeah. Somebody was swimming in the in the moonshine. Man, that thing is na nasty. Oh, sorry. My camera work probably sucks. I'm trying to do this one-handed. How much of you guys uh, pay me to put this on my face? <laughs> it actually looks like about what I normally swim in. <laughs> That's nasty. That's cool. I would not expect to find a snorkeling mask up here behind this house. But that's how you get pink eye. <laughs> Dang. Let me I'll flip this back around. I guess I'll throw that mask away. Add it to the old collection. That bottle's cool. I don't know if I can take that out right this second. Is this safe to walk on? I have no idea. There's like bottles under here. I'm trying not to break. I kind of wish I had like a wide camera lens on this thing. Yeah, I don't know. I guess this is, what is this? Like part of the old furnace or like propane or the gas? I don't know. Heck yeah, man. Let me know when you're uh, going to the motorcycle bridge. I'm totally down. This is cool. There's like a, there's some like plastic. Oh, wait. Dude, somebody's been sleeping. This is, somebody's been sleeping under here. It's like a little shack. There's like a bunch of plastic baggies under there. All right, now I gotta get under there and look. 
there's like a, a big roll of plastic bags fuel tank what's going on guys hey Don ducky daddy put daughter plus water Peggy what's going on <laughs> found nug stash this might be nug stash I don't know if he's made it down this far yeah somebody's been down here all right I'm gonna try to crawl under here oh I'm a big guy so this is not easy dang there's some like baggies all right let me get in here oh dang look found some sunglasses oh yeah <laughs> There better not be a raccoon in here. Look, there's a whole bunch of baggies in here. What the heck? Why are there so many bags in here? I don't see anything in them. Somebody was like stashing stuff. And there's more back here. There's an old railroad tie right there. <laughs> yeah, it might be a drug stash site. Oh God. I'm like really crammed up here. Oh, check it out, there's like a backpack. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing in there. That's nasty. All right, let me crawl out of here. <laughs> because this is really crammed. weird because this used to be somewhere I guess somebody was sleeping at and it's kind of weird to like be somewhere where someone else was before you know somebody slept right here I'm gonna grab this trash throw it away it'd be weird if the guy like came up and showed up behind me grab you guys oh man I feel like I'm getting old if they were recently there you'd you could leave them some drinks or something <laughs> yeah I don't think anybody's been here for a while there's like a rope behind me on that tree looks like there was a needle in the second bag gosh I hope not you do always need to be careful Always make sure you wear gloves. <laughs> Clearly I'm not listening to my own advice. All right, let me flip this around. I'm gonna try to walk around here up on top of this. It's like an old sleeping bag up here. It looks like an old grill. Who's behind that tree? <laughs> Don't scare me now. <laughs> Hopefully I'm uh, bigger than anybody else out here that would be trying to attack me. I think I've gone as far as I can go over here. I'm gonna walk back around. We'll go inside this building. But uh, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna try to, nah. I'm gonna go backwards. It's too messy and there's water everywhere. All right, enough of my face. <laughs> Sorry about the train. And hopefully the camera work is not terrible. What do you mean you're getting old? You're not as old as Nug? Eh, I'm getting there. I don't know, I feel it in my knees more because I'm taller. I'm 6'3", I feel like, I feel like I'm good everywhere else. Like, I know I'm young, but man, my knees hurt all the time. I can't imagine how Nug feels. <laughs> if you're old, that makes me ancient. <laughs> Well, I guess that's just life. Dang, check this out. This would be some cool, like a cool place to shoot a music video or something. All right, let's walk around to the door and walk in this place. I 
don't know how the floor, I guess the floor is good to walk on. Dang. Maybe I should have worn a mask. I don't know if I want to breathe this in. Well, it's pretty open, but that looks pretty nasty. Let's see if we can find any treasures or trash around here. I guess this used to be a house and there's a fireplace over here. The roof is just completely caved in. Yeah, I don't know if there's any, I'm sure there's some bad words spray painted around here. What is that? Is that part of like a old thermostat or something? There's some spray paint bottles. I'm sure they'll demolish this place eventually. There's the old fireplace. Yeah, it'd probably be cool to metal detect, but I'm sure there's, I don't think it's that old, but you'd probably find a lot of trash. Oh, there's some makeup. Oh, look, you can see what the floor used to look like right here. Here's somebody's makeup. Let's see. Argon oil. Ultra lip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's walk through this back door real quick. You know, I could probably make a whole video out here. But I kind of like doing the live streams because it does all the work for you and you get a video out instantly. It's really nice. It's lazy YouTubing. <laughs> but I like the interaction. All right, I can't really go farther. It's so overgrown out here. But that's cool. It's a cool place. All right, well, we're going to walk back out and we're gonna walk up river a little bit and uh, hopefully clean up some trash alongside the river there is a bridge way farther up river I don't know if I can how long it take me to walk to but I'd love to uh, go diving underneath it All right, who we got on the live stream? If you guys want a shout out, leave a comment. I'll do a shout out. What's up, Steve? Don Chuck. So there's gators over there. Uh, you know, I've, some people said they've seen little baby gators where I dive out here. I've never seen them. I don't believe it. What's up, Rhonda Roy? I'm here. Thanks for tuning in. Casey Hallmark, big hugs. Abnormal. A comment. <laughs> cool. What's up, Claire? All right, so. What's up, Peggy? Ooh, kind of smells up bad over here. So, uh, yeah. Pretty close to the river right here. There's actually somebody walking up here. This is a path they created not too long ago, so before nobody had access to this and you wanted, unless you wanted to walk through the woods. <clears throat> What's up, Kathy? Dolly? From, hi from the UK. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Sue, how you feeling? I'm feeling great. A little tired. I'm actually pretty sore because I... <laughs> I went to the gym for the first time in a while yesterday and my legs are killing me. But 
was supposed to start my certification for diving after Christmas, but COVID still got my lungs all recovered. Yeah, COVID's rough. I had COVID back in uh, October and it was not fun. Beautiful river walk. Yeah, it is really pretty out here. I'm sure I'll run into some somebody walking up behind me. There's supposed to be a big rock up here. Is this about my house? Yeah, it's like 30 minutes from my house, so not too far. Not bad. This is my local river I always come to most of the time. They've actually been doing a pretty good job of keeping it clean. I don't even see much trash around here. Check out this picture perfect spot. Look at that bench. Yeah, so they built these, these walks all the way up and down. I'm in South Carolina. And there's, that's a pretty little area. I didn't even know, that they must have just put this bench here. I don't remember this being there. Check that out. That looks like a picture right there. You need to dive the eddy. Eddy, where is that at? Yeah, this is a beautiful spot. Might have to take my girlfriend out here. Check it out. So this is a big, I think there used to be a bridge over here. There's actually a house that I want to buy when I get older across the way. This giant like mini mansion right on the river. People are actually out there right now. It's beautiful. I'd love to live up there. I don't know if you all can see it or not. It's pretty. Water looks pretty clear. I'm going to walk out to this, uh, I'm going to walk out to that, uh, rock out there. But check out the water. Looks pretty good, especially in the sunlight. I've, div I've dove here a couple times, but I never ended up finding much trash because most people don't come down this way. They start down river a little farther. Well, this is beautiful. Edisto River. Uh, yeah, I tried diving the Edisto at one spot and it was just too murky. Um, I think it does get clearer. Well, I guess the Edisto, you mean uh, near Charleston? Where all the shark teeth are? I might be getting my rivers confused. Hi from Brunswick, New Brunswick, Canada. Far away. <laughs> yeah, that is a little far away. Thanks for tuning in. And little old Adam Brown Adventures live stream. Way down yonder in South Carolina. You handpick trash. That's that's awesome. Yeah, I always try to pick up trash when I have a day that I'm not diving or I can't dive or if I only have a little bit of time, I don't have long enough to go diving. Yeah, I'm in South Carolina. Sorry if the camera is really bad and shaky. I need to get like a stabilizer for this thing. All right, check this out. This is beautiful. So this is like, I wouldn't say a party rock, but people have even camped up here I've seen before, which I wouldn't do, but. There's some trash. I'll walk back and pick some of this trash up. And the water looks pretty clear today. I probably could dive. Dang, it looks really clear right there. This is pretty clear for here, but I guess it's more clear right here where the, it's not out in the main spot of the river, but dang, that's like four feet visibility. That's pretty good. <laughs> Around South Carolina, it doesn't get that visible. Yeah, it's shallow right here. Out, um, out farther, it gets like 10 to 15 feet at most. I think up around here, it's more like five to 10. Uh, temperature, it's actually not that bad outside. The water temperature is probably upper 40s, maybe 50, low 50s. Hey, what's up, Die for Good? Thanks for tuning in. We'll be scared of the river storms to camp and sleep. Yeah, I, it was weird. I came out here one time and I saw a guy camping right here. And it, the water raises and lowers, so I don't know what he was thinking. But, um, 
Yeah, I might camp like up farther. <laughs> yeah, this place is awesome. I think they used to, you see all these little posts? There used to be like a bridge, I think. Some looks like somebody spray painted them. But I think there used to be a bridge going across or some, some structure here. I'm not entirely sure. That was a while ago. So, man, it's a beautiful day today. I wish every day was like this. Well, maybe a little, little bit more. Awesome. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know, what is it, Wednesday today? Yeah, hit that like and uh, hit that like button if you guys haven't already. That helps me out a lot. Man, looks like uh, there's some some doo doo. Is that dog poop? Or that might be duck. Cool. All right. Well, let's keep walking. I'm gonna walk farther up the trail. I haven't because I haven't been that far. I'm pretty sure it goes a ways. I see a couple other people walking down. Man, this water is really clear. I'm kind of upset that I'm not diving in it right now, actually. Dang. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a lot of time, so I just wanted to jump on a live stream for a little, maybe like an hour or so. Because I got to get back to work. Dang, this water is so clear. What are the red things? Yeah, I think it's part of like an old structure that used to be out here. I don't know if it's a bridge that went across. It might have just been some type of a, I don't even know, some structure. It could have been a bridge. I'm not sure if you guys know, let me know. There's like two, four, six, eight, eight of them. But hey, there's not a lot of trash out here. So that's a good thing. I see a few bottles I'm gonna pick up. I'd love to organize like a big uh, trash day lake cleanup at different states once like once a month, get a bunch of divers together. That's what I really wanna do. Um, that's one of my goals anyway, so. If, you, if any of you guys are divers wanna be a part of that, let me know. I'd love to get a bunch of people together to go diving. Where's that bottle? I thought I saw a Oh wait, I walked too far. <laughs> lifeguard towers, yeah, I don't think there are lifeguard towers out here. It's not that popular of a swimming area because it's a little walk. And a lot of people don't want to do the little bit of walk to get up here. Gosh, this water is so clear. I'm so upset that I'm not in it right now. Gosh, my hair is crazy. I think I need a haircut. Diving's not for you, Will. Maybe we can like raise money to help clean up and also dive or something. Some event. But I'd love to travel around to different states like once a month and do that. Gosh, all right, well I'm gonna walk back over to my bag. Pick up some bottles here. How's it going? Good. Just trying to clean up some trash out here. Yeah. There's a lot, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, I try to dive out here, too, and clean up trash, but... Oh, are you the diver? I saw you went out of this end before. Oh, you did? Yeah, I'm, I'm probably the guy you saw. There's not many people that dive out here. I was off the boardwalk, and I was walking, and scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I came up, and I was like, not... I had no idea anybody would dive in there. Yeah, that was probably me. <laughs> I try to come out here, this because there's so much garbage, like, in the water, and nobody knows it, oh, but sure. it's bad. Oh, Yeah. 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 I know there's a lot. Well, more people farther down hang out than up here, but I know I've seen a lot of people up here 
in the past, but I feel like people don't like to walk as much to get up to this spot. But I don't know. All right, well, have a good day. Look, and they even have trash cans out here. That's another way you can go up to the rock. Man, this place is really, really pretty. Okay, so I think over here, there's some slight clearings. There used to be like some old buildings. I guess you can't see them now, but man, this place is beautiful. They've really added a lot out here. How y'all doing today? Is everybody on here having a good day? I hope so. I always try to encourage people to get outside and get outdoors whenever possible. Sometimes it can be difficult, but I feel like since every, more people are working from home, at least I'm still working from home, I have more opportunity just to get outside for a little bit. Oh, check it out, this is cool. You love to swim when you're young. Heck, you I, I, you can still swim. I feel like whether you're young or old, like I, I go dive. I see a lot of older divers, at least scuba diving, because uh, I guess you don't have. You can just kind of float around, and it's it's a lot easier. It's not too physical, unless you're in like the rapids or something. Man, this place is awesome. but I guess it's a lot easier to swim when it's warm <laughs> in the summer. Man, this water is just so clear compared to what I'm used to. You guys probably can't tell on the camera. Look, there's some people walking out there now. You can see the bottom. <laughs> You haven't worked because, a year for the because of the pandemic. Yeah, it's, it's the pandemic. I Man, I hope it ends soon. It's definitely been a learning experience. I feel like, but it's funny because so many people's jobs, including my own, is my full time regular job. <laughs> You're realizing that you don't need to be in a building. You can you can work from home, which is weird. But I guess the future might be working from home, and people don't even have to go in anymore. But you kind of lose that interaction. I mean. Even though like doing Zoom call interviews, it's not the same, I feel like. Definitely not the same as being, you know, in front of somebody. You just kind of lose, lose some, lose something. Lose his person ability, yeah, exactly. This is pretty. I don't think I've walked up this far before. Oh, here's some of the plant life that's out here. I don't know much about plants, but poison ivy. Yeah, that's what we don't want. <laughs> yeah, this is really pretty. They did not have this like five years ago, but they've done a good job. Allowing a lot more people to exercise and get a beautiful view. Yeah, stay out of the poison ivy. I'm going to try my best to do that. I don't even... I think I got poison ivy a few times when I was younger. But... Pretty good about staying, staying out of it. Hey, Connie, how's it going? Nice walking trails. Yeah, they're beautiful. And, you know, I guess they're, the parks, the, uh, the, the city is cleaning up. I know they, they drive around in golf carts now. And it seems like they clean up a lot more trash. I'm not, I'm not even seeing a lot, which is a good thing.
you had to cut your hours. Dang, that sucks. Yeah, I know it's been hard for a lot of people. I know a lot of people have lost their jobs too. Your husband's been home since March. <laughs> Is that a good thing having your husband home all day or a bad thing? <laughs> It's sleeping time here in, in South, with South Africa. <laughs> Man, this water is clear. I just can't get over it. It's beautiful out here. Thanks for tuning in from South Africa. That's, a, that's way over there. Across the way. And I kind of wish I had like a little scooter or a little golf cart or something I could ride around in. That'd be cool. Have a little uh, pail for my trash. And just scoot around the river and clean up trash. I might do try to do like one of these a week just to add another uh, video, some more content cleaning up litter around bridges and rivers because it's really hard for me to do put out regular videos during the week but I can do live streams pretty easy oh, this is cool and that sun's going down I hate that the sun sits so quick oh, I don't know they had a water gauge here what is the water at? 260, 2.6? Looks low. It's definitely kind of low today. Yeah, so this is the farthest I've actually gone diving up here. I've never been past this big rock. There's a bunch of houses I'd love to live up there. And apparently, uh, there's like, there used to be metal um, Civil War activity out here. Going. I'd love to go metal detecting. Bet there's a whole bunch of uh, relics out here. Civil War relics. Ooh, that sounds bright. All right, I'm gonna try to walk a little farther because I've never been up this far. This is cool. It's exciting. It's funny how you can live somewhere for so long and there's like places you still haven't been to. And this is just right up where I'll go like every week. A lot more people out here than I expected to. Jogging around. How shaky is the camera, guys? Is it terrible? Let me know. I'll try to hold it better. I really need to get a stabilizer. There's an old pallet. Or, no, it looks like an old railing. You're walking, it's good. <laughs> That's good. It's hard to be stable when you walk. I guess I couldn't run. Walking's probably not that bad. Dang, check this out. There's a camper. Oh, I thought there was campers up here. How's it going? Check it out. People, there's campers up here. That is weird. It's kind of weird having a walking path right in front of your camper. I think I remember seeing campers up here before a long time ago, but I didn't know why they were up here. It's weird. I'm learning so much today. <laughs> Dang, maybe I can get a camper and put it out here by the river. That would be so cool to live out here, like right in front of the river. You just walk out and you got that view. 
I might have to look into this. I don't know if my girlfriend would <laughs> want to live by the river, but. <laughs> At least maybe not in camp. Well, I could get a nice camper. Man, I've never even, this is so weird seeing a part of the river that I've never seen. I wonder who those campers are for. How's it going? Kind of, it kind of feels like you guys are coming along on a virtual walk with me. I guess that's basically what I'm doing. Virtual walking. I guess it gets me, gets me out and about. It makes me exercise. <laughs> Dang, there's a lot of junk out here. What is all this stuff? Check it out, there's an old beetle. There's a couple old beetles. There's a lot of trash out here though. I wonder if people live in these things. How's it going? I wonder if these are abandoned. There's so many campers out here. Why are there so many campers? That's weird. Some of these don't look that old either. There's trucks. I would go explore that building, but I'm pretty sure that's private property. <laughs> Let me double check my cell phone battery. Okay, we got power. Permanent site campground. I don't know, you know, I think I saw, it sounds weird, but I think it's like the police department owns that area. I think I saw a sign I don't know. Building might be bathroom showers. Just made trail by, so probably wouldn't notice without it. Yeah. No, yeah, somebody's over there. There's like some newer vehicles. They need to put up like a fence. <laughs> it seems weird that they would uh, build this beautiful trail like right next to all that junk and garbage. Man, I might be walking a mile or two here. I don't know how far this walk goes. I'm gonna try to walk faster. If you guys have any uh, comments or questions, I can, I'll answer anything. Well, I won't give out my social security number, but I'll answer most questions. <laughs> Whew, dang, there's some big rocks. It always amazes me uh, where these giant rocks come from. It doesn't seem like very a mountainy area or anything like that. I mean, it's not. But there's some giant large rocks out here that you wouldn't expect to be here. We have ponds around me and private owned also for rent for your camper. Yeah, I'd love, I'd rent, I'd rent a, a lot, get a camper out by the river. My dream is to have like one of those nice houses across the way. Why don't I wear gloves? Uh, you know, I try to. I looked for a second in my truck and I didn't see any, so I didn't wear them. <laughs> but I'm usually wearing gloves when I'm, I'm scuba diving. One man's junk is another man's treasure, yep. Very true. Very true. Yeah, there's so much good stuff people throw away. And I mean, even a lot of the stuff that I call treasure, river treasure, you know, it's more just like treasure in the fact that I'm, I'm finding it, you know, and cleaning up out of the river 
And if it's something I can return to people, that's really cool too. I love being able to return stuff to people. Unfortunately, people have not been, uh, too, once the tubing season starts, I'll be finding iPhones all over the place. But I still find them year round, but uh, a lot of times they don't work and you just can't return them. All right, I'll switch back to the trail. I really have not seen any trash either out here. What time is it? Ooh, 4 .09. All right guys, I'll probably live stream for like 20 more minutes. I gotta get it back home soon. This is beautiful. Well, I don't know how interesting this video is gonna be at this point, but thanks for uh, tuning in guys. I appreciate the company. I'm not finding much garbage out here. I thought there'd be a lot more. But that abandoned house at the beginning of this video was kind of cool. If you guys weren't here for that, you can tune in later and check it out. But if you haven't already, leave a like on this video. I got this, uh, I actually got a pretty good amount of trash already. I'm trying to get to the end of this trail. There's a turtle down there, but I don't think y'all be able to see it through the trees. But uh, stay tuned. Um, I have a new video coming out Sunday. Got a few, several videos I'm working on. And then Monday I'll do another uh, River Treasure Rewind live stream where I go over that video that I posted Sunday and uh, add a little bit behind the scenes commentary to it. Whew. I guess I don't need to work out today. Get my work in right now, work out in. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I'm going to make it to the end of the trail. Probably should have researched how long this trail is. Reach out for peace. I must keep supporting my fellow YouTubers. They're doing good for the same for the environment. Thanks. Yeah, I uh, I try my best. There really is so much garbage, and people are people trash up the environment and the river so much. It's really sad. I try to do my part. Sometimes you just, there's just no way to clean up all of it, but every small amount counts. What's up, Steve? You'd be tripping about every time I found a phone wondering if it belonged to a missing person, but I guess. Yeah, I haven't, um, I actually haven't thought about that. If it's, if any of the phones I found belong to missing people, typically they're in areas where people are tubing and kayaking. So that hasn't been the case as of yet. But one of the most interesting things that happened to me was when I found a, uh, I found a phone. Actually, it was one of my, one of my videos not too long ago. I found a newer iPhone and uh, it turned on after the fact. And I was before, I was, uh, I was trying to find the owner's phone number. And once I called her, she told me that she was tracking the phone, her own, her phone. And she was planning on coming to my house <laughs> to find her phone. <laughs> and I'd never thought about people like, it's like reverse. It's like she lost the phone, but I found it. And I typically return them to people. But I don't know what the interaction would have been if she just showed up at my house and been like, why do you have my cell phone? I'm like, I found it in the river, <laughs> scuba diving. <laughs> I didn't steal it. That would have been really, a really strange experience. Like you never think about people finding you. Yeah, it is beautiful. I appreciate you guys uh, coming along with me. I'd hope this video would be more interesting, but it's just a nice walk outside. I mean, there's a bridge way down here that I want to get to. That's kind of my goal for today, because I wanted to check out underneath the bridge. But I thought it was a lot closer than this. 
I did not plan this out well. I'm trying to walk fast to get to it in time. Cause I gotta get back home soon. But do you guys like, uh, do you like random live streams like this? I thought about doing random live streams just more often to make content, but I don't want to make content that's too random and crazy. <laughs> like I could, I could just uh, live stream, live stream going to Subway and making a Subway sandwich. <laughs> Not finding trash is a good problem. Yeah, it is. And I've been a lot more impressed the past few years since they built all these uh, sidewalks and stuff out here. Because there hasn't been that much trash. I mean, there is a lot in the rivers, but you're walking in nice weather and I sh you shoveled snow today. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> you know, I think it snowed a little bit yesterday, uh, more upstate here in South Carolina. But um, I didn't see any. Gives you something to do. But yeah, nature is really beautiful to explore. But I love finding the treasures. <laughs> There's so much cool stuff hidden. All right, I know I'm getting close. I can hear the bridge, I can hear the cars, but it's still a ways away. You like the lives, you never know what you might find. Yeah, that's true. And that's what keeps me going because you never know what you're gonna find. You never know until you go. TM, that's my catchphrase. I need to trademark it. I doubt I'm the first person to say that, but I want to put it on a t-shirt. Man, this is beautiful. I picked a good day to be outside. And I encourage you guys to get outside too, if it's not snowing. <laughs> if it's snowing, I don't know. Wear a jacket, <laughs> a big jacket. I'm not used to snow, I'm from Texas, so I don't do well in the snow. I like to look at it from inside a warm house. Yeah, diving, it's not everybody's thing. Oh, this is pretty. But, I don't know, try it and see if you like it. If not, everybody's got something they enjoy more. It's a pretty little stream. Uh, I'm from Houston, Texas originally. Oh, wait, the bridge is over there? Wait, is that the right bridge? I don't know if you guys can see that. You'd fall dead if, I, if you walked that far, put you in a wagon. <laughs> I do actually have a wagon. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm gonna, I think that might be the bridge over there. I didn't know if this trail would lead underneath it or not. Oh man, well, now I know. What time did you get home from Texas? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm in, uh, I live in South Carolina now. I'm from Texas originally. That was a while ago. What's up, daddy, daughter, you still alive? Yeah, I'm still alive. I was trying to find this bridge, but I think it's like, oh wait, I think I see it. I think it's way down that way. I'm still carrying this bag of trash. <laughs> And I haven't seen any trash out here. I mean, they keep it pretty clean. All right, I'm seeing a bridge. I don't know if, if it's my bridge or not. But I'm definitely getting close. Oh. Somebody's parked over there. Oh, 
I would walk down there, but there's like a truck parked right down there. It looks kind of sketchy. All right, I'm gonna keep walking this way. Uh, when I met up with a uh, AWP, yeah, that was in a uh, that was in Nashville, and in Tennessee. We I, I didn't make it to Texas. I would have liked to. Uh oh, guys, I just found a bunch of trash. That means I gotta pull over and do some cleanup. Oh yeah, oh, it was even a flip flop. All right. Let's clean up some garbage. I'm the river garbage man. Yeah, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Oh, there's some old barbed wire here too. Check that out. That's where I left my flip-flop. <laughs> Pink. Ugh. Yeah, I went out to them uh, to Nashville, but I didn't. I didn't make it the next day to Texas. The next uh, few, or yesterday, I guess, or whenever there was. Look at that little bowling ball. That's cute. <laughs> Uh-oh, I just found me a knife. Check this thing out. <laughs> it's got a little button on it too. Half shell heroes. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, you never know what you're gonna find out here in the river. Tell you what. All right, cleaned up all the trash there. Let's walk a little farther. Oh no. Yeah, like the video, that'd be awesome. Gosh, my hair is crazy today. Got a nice bag of trash. It's getting heavy. A heavy bag of trash is a good bag of trash. I think the bridge I'm trying to go to is that way. I don't have much more time. We're getting uh, getting down, down to the wire. Is that what they say? Losing light. I don't have much time left. The clock's running out. Man, I need to walk more. <laughs> I keep hearing like noises like uh, animals are around me. But I think it's just squirrels. All right, what time is it? 422. Whew. 422 <laughs> thanks <laughs> don't tell me we're getting lost well I don't think I can get lost on a, on a sidewalk pathway but probably gonna have to end this live stream soon I have to get back to my real job <laughs> this is my side job hobby 122 <laughs> and it's 422 here I have Jason's knife.
We got 27, 27 people on the last stream. Two, 22, 22, 322 in, in Kansas. Oh, man, this bag's getting heavy. All right, guys, if this, if this trail doesn't end soon, I'm gonna have to uh, turn back. I've never gone this far. Uh oh. You know what? Now I can see where the bridge is actually. Right as I'm saying that, it's way down there. You guys can't see it, but. Oh, this bag of trash, it's getting heavy. All right. I think I might've like walked a mile. How long do you think I've walked? The trail. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I've walked a mile here. I'm gonna have to get back to my truck. very soon but I do see where the bridge I wanted to go to is if I ever dive here man that's gonna be a long walk with a scuba tank I'm gonna have to get a little a little wagon a little like electric scooter oh man get a wagon yeah I bought I've done it before I have gotten a wagon before. Man, that's pretty. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Whew. I'm sure that's probably been a mile. I gotta get back to my truck in like 20 minutes. Maybe I can jog back. 10 miles. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it's 10 miles. It's probably a couple, a couple miles. I'm wondering how much farther it goes. All right. So we got like 10 more minutes. If you guys are sticking through, y'all are hardcore fans. Check Google Maps, there's Ninja, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. How many people do you know that are happy to find? Oh, happy to find trash. I don't know how many other people are. <laughs> Take the shortcut, go through the woods. Bears might, the bear. I don't think there's bears down here. Gotta go a little farther up north. There's some raccoons. Oh, I see a goose. I see some geese out here. You never know. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I see the bridge. I see it. Can you guys see it way down there? That's so close. That's still a long walk though. Oh man. All right, next trash can. This is going in it. <laughs> I'm gonna throw my trash away. Oh, there's an old wall that used to be right there. Yeah, there's definitely some relics out here for sure. I'd love to do some metal detecting out here, up along this wall. Definitely. I know there was like uh, camps out here, some Civil War camps. Oh, it's Chaos Live. <laughs> His live stream is probably more interesting than mine, though, I'm sure. A lot of people are going live today. 
but thanks for letting them know. This is like a, a kind of a last minute live for me. I just decided to uh, to get outside, do some walking, clean up some garbage. Man, this is pretty. Yeah, this is a great place to walk. Yeah, I bet that bridge has some good stuff. He was sonaring a shallow lake looking for a car. Nice. Hey, Stu, they just came from Jacob's channel. Thanks for coming over. <laughs> I'm just out here cleaning garbage out of the river. Just kind of walking around. Is he still going live? Or did they, he just end his? Nothing but fish and logs. Yeah, unfortunately, that's... <laughs> It is kind of hard. I mean, the cars stand out. The cars stand out in the in the sonar. But there's a lot of logs. Okay, yeah, he just ended. Yeah, it's been a, a day of live streaming. <laughs> I've been watching, jumping around people earlier over live streaming. Whew. I'm getting a workout, guys. A workout today. I think they were live way earlier. Whew. My arm's getting tired. Oh man, the bridge is right there. I feel like I have to end it at the bridge. What do you, what do you guys think? Should I go till I get to the bridge? It looks like the path goes two ways right here. All right, found a trash can. So I'm gonna dispose of this. Oh, that doesn't really fit, does it? <laughs> All right. We just uh, threw that bag of trash away. I'm gonna try to get up to this bridge and check it out underneath it. If I see any more trash, I'll try to try to pick that up. <laughs> no, I won't get lost, I promise. I might start jogging though. <laughs> to try to get to this bridge in time. 4.30. Oh man, cutting it close. Cutting it very close. I'd always wondered if this trail went underneath this bridge. Whew. It's a lot easier to walk without a big bag of trash, but. Oh, now they have a fence up. All right, I just got to the end of the trail. I don't know if I can get under the bridge, guys. There's a fence over here. Of course, fences have never stopped me. <laughs> oh, it's a temporary end, so they're going to extend it farther. But I already see a, tra a trail right here where people walked around. All right, we're almost there. We made it to the bridge. <laughs> Yeah, clearly, uh, this is, uh, I mean, it looks like they just, it says a temporary end, so I guess they're going to extend it farther eventually, but yeah, there's a fence right here. I'm keeping close to the water. But check it out, the bridge, we made it. Oh. My phone's telling me low on power now. All right, we made it to the fence, guys. I mean the fence, <laughs> the bridge. We made it to the bridge. I've been wanting to check underneath this bridge for so long. I already found something, treasure. Check it out. Now I wish I had my bag still. I'll try to put a pile there and maybe carry some of this stuff out. Whoa. <laughs> 
I just busted my butt, guys. <laughs> oh, man. You guys did not see that. You guys did not see me just fall right there. <laughs> we'll just edit that out of the live stream. Ew. I swear that's mud. That's why they had the fence. <laughs> I started going down and I couldn't catch myself. <laughs> oh no. My butt. I'm gonna have to wash these pants. <laughs> Alright, I was trying to go too fast. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. But I need to get across. Laundry time, yeah. And these are new pants, kind of. All right, let's walk around this way. It looks safer. All right, I'm gonna jump. <laughs> Sound safe. Yeah, is that loud? <laughs> All the cars. They don't, be, they don't make it easy getting over here. Dang. Check it out. Underneath the bridge. Oh, there's a tent over there. Oh, dang, there's a homeless camp, it looks like. I wonder if anybody's there right now. All right, well, you guys are watching. If, if I get attacked... <laughs> Looks like there's a tent back there. There could be somebody uh, sleeping in it. Just say hello. Look, there's a, bi a, there's a bicycle and a tent. Dang. We can't help. <laughs> but you guys can hit that subscribe button and uh, leave a like. <laughs> this is cool. I wonder how you get over here though besides walking. Somebody's bike right there. I don't want to get too close to them. I'll, I'll stay on this side. What's going on everybody? Sirens run. Watch out for their outdoor bathroom area. Dang, this is a long, this is a big space under here. I wonder if anybody's over there. You guys think I should walk over there to the tent? Big old bridge. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably avoid that tent. That, that bike looks like somebody might be in that tent. <laughs> I'll check it out. Here's an old bottle. All right, I won't go over to it, guys. You don't worry. Look at that. That's cool. What type of bottle is that? Like an old Pepsi bottle, you think? Someone, yeah, somebody might be around, but I'm a pretty big guy. I think I'll, I think I'll be okay. And I got a knife too, if I need it. Oh, I found a bag. What is that? Well, I guess it's not a bag. Gosh, there's a lot. I kind of wish I saved my trash bag now. There's a lot of trash out here. I'll come back another day, but that was cool. I don't see anybody over here, but they might be hiding over there. They probably don't want me to, to bother them. I don't want to bother anybody either. There's like part of a, a road blinker thing down there. Whatever those things are called. Reflectors. <laughs> Oh, 
Dang, I bet there's some, some cool stuff underneath this bridge. I'm gonna have to come up here and dive up here one day. Oh, there's been a bunch of deer. Look at all the deer tracks. Where's your magnet? I don't have my magnet with me today. I don't, I don't know, there's a tent over there, if you guys can see it. I don't think I'm gonna go close to that tent. Try to be safe. I always try my best to be safe. Safety first. Ooh, that sun is blinding. Greetings, Germany. Dang, Germany, thanks for tuning in. That's a, that's a little, a little far away there, but I appreciate it. Appreciate the love and support. Hey, what's up, William Morris, Steve Howden, Kathy Marshall, Sheila Applin, Paul, Stephanie. If you guys want to shout out, leave a comment. Oh man, there's so much trash over there. Oh, point the camera the wrong way. Dang. Look at all this trash. This is all from people's cars, I think, just throwing it off the bridge. God, I need so many trash bags. Wow. That is a lot of litter. A lot of litter. Well, at least I made it to the bridge, guys. That's what I wanted to do, and I made it. Oh, look, a tennis ball. What is that? Oh, it's part of a battery. <sighs> Man, I hate to leave any trash here, but there's just too much. Way too much for me to get. I'll come back, though. Come back another day and clean up a lot of this stuff. I'll definitely, I wanna go diving here, just check it out. I mean, this is a pretty big bridge. I wonder if I can get on the other side too. I think it's more private properties over there. But I bet you there's a gun around here somewhere. Need to carry extra bags. Yeah, you are very right about that. Man, that water is so clear. I mean, this is like, see, you can see the bridge. Oh, my phone is about to die. 10%. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna end the live stream here. Thanks so much for tuning in. My phone's about to die, but I made it out to the bridge. And uh, that was awesome. I've always wanted to come out here. It's been like a long time. Let me plug my, uh, I have a phone charger. Sounds like diving this weekend. You know what? I might have to get my wagon and bring all my gear up here. But I hope you guys coming along on this, enjoyed coming along on this adventure. I guess a lot of it was like just walking. Act like you're still videoing for your protection. Well, I don't, I don't see anybody over there. I think I'm good, but. Uh, yeah, you guys are awesome. If you tuned in this whole video, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for Sunday. Well, okay, so a few things. Sunday, I have a new video coming out. Monday, I'll be doing another live streaming and uh, probably diving too Monday. So probably several live streams on Monday. Um, the t-shirt, the Side Adventures of Purpose t-shirt contest ends Friday, I believe. So if you guys want to enter that, you can go over, um, check out my channel, the other video I have, and you can uh, donate for a chance to win. <laughs> hey Liz, thanks for showing up. Yeah, I'm about to end the live stream, but I appreciate you tuning in. Um, but I got to go. Thanks for tuning in, guys. My phone's about to die. 
So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see y'all on the next adventure. Oh 